Our next speaker is Army Brigadier General Retired Lori Sutton. Thank you, Senator Gillibrand, and thank you so much for allowing me to speak this morning. I am here as a retired Army physician and a concerned citizen. I am here out of a sense of devotion to my Army, to our Army, and a sense of duty. A duty to stand up and speak out in the face of this breach of trust, this erosion, this bleeding out of trust and hard-earned credibility that we are witnessing in our military today, related to its repeated and continuous mishandling of rape and other sexual crimes. I stand up today on behalf of those courageous victims, survivors, who have told their story and who have led us to this point. I stand up today on behalf of all who are continuing to serve in units whose leadership is all too often marked by fear, humiliation, hazing, bullying, and even mobbing. Those behaviors, those upstream behaviors that set the conditions for the horrific crimes such as rape and sexual assault. I also stand up today on behalf of the vast majority of commanders and leaders at all levels and in all services of our military who would never think of tolerating these crimes and who daily serve us so courageously, so proudly, so bravely, at whatever personal cost or professional risk. Let us remind ourselves, rape is not about sex. It is not a women's issue, it's not a gay's issue, it is no respecter of persons or genders. It is a crime, a crime that, for the most part, is committed by heterosexual men whose unbridled need for dominance, control, destruction, and aggression utterly violates and shatters the minds, bodies, spirits, hopes, and dreams of all whom they target. Let me, let me close with this. As a military physician, if our military today was my patient, I would diagnose this breach of trust, this erosion, this deficit, this bleeding out as a sucking chest wound, a wound that requires bold action. The Military Justice Improvement Act is that bold action, which in combination with all of the other necessary reforms will finally stop the bleeding and start the process of restoring trust, restoring credibility, of ensuring that all know, both inside and outside the military, that the military is doing everything in its power to prevent these crimes when they occur, to ensure that justice is done and that the victims, the survivors, retain their dignity and honor, and that we will prosecute on the basis of evidence, aggressively prosecute and hold accountable any who dare commit these heinous crimes. Thank you. 